From the noisiest neighborhood in the known universe and Tornado Alley, welcome to Smoky Goodness. Today, uh, we're going to uh, redo something I've done before out here, but I'm going to shorten this video up. Uh, it's uh, pulled pork sandwiches. Well, pulled pork sandwiches is what this will eventually become. Uh, a smoked pork butt with a smokinator on the Weber out here. We're going to do this about 16 hours, low and slow. And uh, we're going to skip all the uh, talking that I did. I think it was about two years ago I made a video similar to this one. And my intro was something like four or five minutes long. I was concerned about uh, what kind of charcoal to use in the smokinator, you know, the briquettes versus the lump charcoal uh, briquettes, Kingsford briquettes specifically. Hope I don't get in trouble for saying that. Uh, they do have a lot of binders and everything. I have switched since then to Stubbs charcoal briquettes. There are no binders, no chemicals, anything like that, so that is a moot point and is no concern anymore. So, uh, hey, let's get this started. Stick around, Herb. Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy, it seems you haven't marinated your pork butt overnight. No, I haven't. I found that uh, it's not really necessary. I mean, this bad rabbit's going to be out on the grill for 16 hours at least, so I get just as much rub penetrating the meat after 16 hours than I would if I just left it sitting in the refrigerator all night. Just one personal opinion. Okay, all we're going to do here lightly score this fat cap. There's not much of it. I don't want to cut anything off. A little there, a little here, a little bit there. Not much. Just a really light score. Just like that. Like that. Shut up, bird. All right, then. I happen to have a brand new package of Mad Hunky Rub. I'm gonna go crazy with this stuff today. Man, that smells good. It's another awesome rub. And through the kindness and generosity of fellow YouTubers, I was able to discover about, uh, I don't know, six or seven months ago, Good, good stuff. Don't be stingy. Get this stuff all over. Coat it well. Okay. Okay, you know the deal with this. The world-renowned and highly coveted Smokinator 1000. Be my uh, weapon of choice this afternoon, as always. And you know the setup. We've got 48 unburnt uh, stubs, charcoal briquettes, which, like I mentioned, have no binders or chemicals or anything like that, so I can get away with it. And in the uh, old chimney here are 12 lit charcoals. And you may have noticed I haven't inverted the chimney this time, which I usually do. Another experiment. I loaded them all to one side and pretty much going for the most part. You just dump them in there like that. It's simply just a matter of laying her right there. It's coming up nicely. Adding water. And of course, some wood chips, which you've been soaking for about an hour. These things are not going to catch right away. There's plenty of unburnt charcoal over here. As a matter of fact, they're not even going to drop in there right now. They will. All right. Alright, that's about it for the prep work. I'm going to be out here for about 16 hours, so kick back and relax. Smoke them if you got them, drink them if you brought them. Stick around, Herb. Alright, we're into this about 45 minutes so far. As you can tell, the smokinator is smokinating perfectly. It's come right up to temperature and it's maintaining the perfect temperature. 
for a long, low and slow. All right, we're about three hours into this now. As you can tell, the Smokinator is doing its thing, doing its magic, keeping that temperature right where I want it. All I've had to do is about once every hour is come out and top off the water and pan a little bit. And uh, occasionally I've been adding some smoking wood. And let's see how she looks. Whoa! Looking good, smelling great. Really nothing to do but add some water. Okay, we're at eight hours, plus some change. A little over halfway through. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> that looks good. At the six hour mark, when I had to start adding a few coals, and I've switched to lump charcoal for the uh, second half of this low and slow. And at this point, I'm going to start easing up on the smoke. I've been adding smoke, uh, smoking chips about every 90 minutes or so. So you know it's got a good smoke ring going on. Like I mentioned, we're a little over halfway. We will uh, periodically come out here and top off the tank, add coals if they're needed. A little bit of smoking wood, not a whole lot more. Um, she's been smoking for six, well, excuse me, she's been smoking for about eight hours, maybe eight and a half hours, so. Probably got the smoke ring I want in there, but you never know. We will bring you along for the home stretch right here on Smoky Goodness. Stick around, Herb. Shut up, cicadas. Ah. Whoa, look at that. 11 hours. Pitmasters will tell you, and I can confirm, that when you're cooking a long, low and slow piece of meat like this, will reach a point where the internal temperature of said protein product does not move. Uh, for me personally, right now, I'm at 180 internal temperature. I'm shooting for 190. It's been sitting at 180 for about two and a half hours. And uh, that's the wall. You have to be patient. You will break through that wall. Uh, I don't really know why that happens, but it happens. Uh, a lot of people would be tempted to pull this off right now and Maybe they think their uh, internal or their uh, thermometer is broken or something. It isn't. It's the wall. And we're there right now. We're going to break through this wall. Like I said, I've been planning on uh, at least a 16 hour low and slow out here, so it's going to happen. Man, these. Shut up, cicadas! Jeez, I'm talking over here. Can you hear anything I'm saying? Anyway, we're at the wall. We're going to break through eventually. So. Alright, let's have a look at this. Oh. And we're still at that wall. Can you believe it? But I expected that. Don't worry, it will break through soon. A little over 15 hours. Look at that. Right, stick a fork in it, she's done. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. And gravity maybe what pulls this bad rabbit. Look at that. Just falling apart. Wow. Hot. All right, don't let 
this rest. And, uh, oh man, words fail me. And there you go, 15 hours, a little bit over 15 hours. Probably the longest queue I've done out here in Smoky Fitness. Heck, I'm ready to do a whole hog now. I kind of feel like I should take a bow. Thank you, thank you very much. Listen, 15 hours, the Smokinator did its job. It rose to the occasion. There's nothing like a Smokinator. If you have a Weber kettle and uh, you like smoked meat, get a smoked meat. Say. Anyway, uh, the uh, the pork butt is resting, and we're gonna pull it apart here in a minute. And we're gonna pig out. So, hope you enjoyed this. It was a blast for me. I mean, uh, I started this early in the morning, and now it's very late at night. So, uh, yeah, kind of uh, kind of happy with the way this turned out. Just, wow. There isn't a barbecue restaurant on the face of this or any other planet that can make a pulled pork sandwich as epic as this. This is what 15 hours will, will get you. Perfection. The little guy is already asleep. It's well after his bedtime, so I'm going to have to say it for him. Stick around, Herb. <laughs>